2022, what an amazing year in the property market. So much has happened in the last year. It would have had over 100 properties alone go to market throughout the year, which hasn't happened in such a long time. Um, we set the suburb record this year with nine still water away, five bedroom home, four bathrooms. That one with lake views, double story design, ended up selling for $1,190,000. And the previous suburb record was set uh, quite a long time back now. Um, so that was an amazing result for us and our sellers there. Um, Edgewater went bonkers this year. We had huge demand at the start of the year. Some properties had over 100 buyers through them early this year um, and huge amounts of email inquiries. We are getting on some homes you know, 200 inquiries a property. Um, so our job at the start of the year was really just trying to um, obviously do, do the best job we could for our sellers as always, but the buyer demand back then and the inquiries and all the work that was, um, you know, uh, so, sort of surrounding that and managing that was, was crazy. We haven't seen that um, ever before. So that was an amazing start to the year. The year then went towards, uh, so the middle of the year, the interest rates started to rise. Um, buyer confidence started to reduce on the back of that, especially with the, the rate that the, right, the, the interest rates were rising, or the cash rate was rising. We've now ended the year, probably a little bit more consumer confidence coming back to the market now. Um, we're still seeing lots of buyers out and about, definitely not what we saw earlier in the year, but in saying that earlier in the year was absolutely crazy. So, um, so we're going to probably a more normalized market now and uh, still a great time for sellers. So that's good. Um, I think heading into 2023, because I know that everybody watching this is going to want our thoughts as agents on what we think the future holds for the market. I think 2023 is going to be another great year in the property market here in WA. I think that the panic buying days, you know, the, those crazy, the, the sort of the first half of 2022, that's probably now behind us. Some properties will still get it. We've had a property recently in Edgewater that um, in the last couple of months that, you know, we had 40 groups there first weekend for a three by two, um, an amazing sales result for our sellers. Um, I think that those days are probably going to reduce. I think that we're going to return to a more normalized market where we start seeing more um, a, a leveled approach to, to people's buying um, decisions. I think that the panics definitely reduce from the market on the back of the interest rate rises and the cash rate rise and all, and all of that and you know cost of living pressures and, and all of those things um, affecting that. But I think we're very well placed here in WA um, to, to have another really, really good year ne next year. So that's, that's sort of the prediction. I think it's still gonna be a seller's market. What's gonna be interesting is we're gonna start seeing towards the end of next year, those that bought in the last couple of years on fixed loans, um, you know, fixed rate mortgages, those fixed rates are gonna start coming off and there's gonna be, a, generally speaking, a fairly big gap, we think, between what those people are currently paying in mortgage repayments and what they're going to need to pay um, as those rates roll over to the new rates. That, could put pressure on the market. Um, it could go a number of different ways. If those people don't need to sell their property, if they can manage those mortgage repayments, then uh, there won't be an increase in stock at any stage because they're gonna keep and hold. If the, the situation becomes a little bit tight and harder to manage for those people, I think that you are gonna see some more properties go to market um, on the back of those people trying to free up some capital and maybe ease financial strain or burden. Um, if that is the case, it just depends on how many of them uh, in that situation go to market um, and how many of them decide to hold or, or you know, restructure or what have you. Um, th that's going to be the interesting one this year. And, and if you are in that situation, I would definitely, if you are thinking about you know, what your options are, I definitely think about having a chat with, with an agent um, before the end of the year gets here. What you wouldn't want to see is the end, we, you know, we, we move through next year, all of a sudden all these people hit the market with their properties, the property market's flooded, buyer, uh, buyer urgency's not necessarily there, and maybe the prices come back down a little bit as a result, and then you've got a really difficult decision to make. So I'd have a chat now, the market's still fantastic. Um, that doesn't mean you have to you know, go to market now, but, but just have a chat about it and see what your options are and, and where you, you think your property's gonna sit you know, in, in the immediate future and in the distant future as well. That's probably all for 2023 in terms of the predictions. I mean, I'd try not to get too involved in any of that because you know it was only a couple of years ago that everyone was predicting that the market was gonna go backwards 20% and it went opposite the opposite way 100% um, to, to what the prediction was. So always bear that in mind. 
Thank you very much to everyone who has entrusted me with the sale of their property this year. It has been an amazing year for me personally. I've helped over 50 people buy and sell property. Um, you know, um, and, and we've had, you know, over a hundred other people reach out to us um, and, and have a chat about their home and where it sits in the market right now. So we're very, very thankful to be able to do what we do. I, I don't take it for granted and I love working with everybody that I work with. So thank you for everyone that has entrusted me with their property in some way, shape or form this year. Um, if you're watching this and you wanna have a chat about your property in the new year, I would absolutely love to help you with that as well. Um, like I said, I really, really love what I do and I'm very, very thankful and grateful for every opportunity that I have. Give me a call if you'd like to have a chat, 0419 769 529. Have a fantastic new year and I'll speak to you in 2023.